Hi everybody, I'm Allison. I'm Vera. And we're with the Winkle. And today we are making flashlight, flashlight constellations. constellations. Grant, do you know what a constellation is? Uh, it's a pattern in the stars. Oh my gosh, that's exactly the definition of a constellation. Our family lives in the city, so it's kind of hard to see the stars in the, in the night sky, isn't it? Yeah. But what do we love to do that helps us see the stars in the sky better? Go camping. Yes, when we're camping, we're out in the mountains, we're away from all the city lights. So we know that the stars are always there in the sky, just sometimes we can't see them because the city lights drown out their brightness. But today we're going to make constellations that will shine on the roof of your house. That's right. You don't even have to go camping to see these constellations. Should we see what's in our kit? Yeah. Okay. Flashlight constellation paper, a flashlight, candy papers, a push pin, a piece of a pool noodle, rubber band, and a glue stick. Wow, this is gonna be awesome. So this is what you'll get when you go to thewinkle.com forward slash freebies. It's a whole packet full of information about constellations. So the first page is, that looks familiar, that's what's in your kit already today. But you'll also get all the stories behind constellations. So it's all, and it's all the stories of the constellations that I gave you in your project. And then the very last page is do your own constellation so you can make up your own story. On top of everything in your kit and the printable that your parents can print out from their computer, all you need is a pair of scissors and then we're ready to get started. Let's do it. All right, Grant, before we get started, I just wanted to talk a little bit more about what constellations are. Constellations, they're a group of stars which make up an imaginary outline in the sky. Okay, some of them are given names after mythological creatures, and we're going to talk about those as we're making our project today. Constellations are used to map out the night sky and to recognize specific stars. Okay. For instance, uh, Ursa Major, which is also known as the Great Bear, has within it what we know as the, the Great Dipper. The Big Dipper, the, that's right. And well, the big, it can be great too. Yes, and the Big Dipper points to what star that's very important? The North. The North Star, also called Polaris. So in the old days, before they had GPS and things like that, they use the North Star to figure out where they're going at night. Because uh, during the day, you can north, kind of... Because if you see North, you know, oh, if you go that way, it's East and then that's south yep. and that's west. That's right. So as long as you can find the North Star, you know where you're going. And some people still do that if they don't have like a GPS or something. Exactly. The North Star is so reliable that way. What? Okay, so the way this works, I have the flashlight constellations here. You're going to cut around the dotted line and uh, the name of the constellation is on the black circle but it's also below it. And I gave you two extra right here that don't have any words on it because those are the constellations you could make up yourself. So you can go outside and look at the night sky and find some stars and try and find a pattern and poke your holes in there. Now for this, you're just going to pick out which constellations you wanna do with your flashlight. You probably won't have enough uh, candy wrappers to do all of these constellations. So just pick your favorite. And if you're wondering which one is your favorite, you can look at the printable that I was talking about before, and it has all the stories about every constellation. So for instance, let's pick a fun story. We have um, Orion, and this is the Orion constellation right here. Orion was a talented hunter that bragged that he could kill all the wild animals on Earth. The three stars in a row right here make up Orion's belt. Okay, so the constellation I'm gonna do right now is Leo the lion. And the way you can tell Leo is there's a question mark right here. It looks like a question mark shape. And that is his mane. And this triangular shape in the back is his tail. And of course, all these constellations, let me just tell you guys, there's stories behind all these constellations. The stories are not necessarily true, they're based on Greek mythology, which if you're Greek, you might believe them to be true, um, but most people call them myths, meaning they're made up or they're not true. They were invented by the Greeks to tell stories about the gods that they believed in. OK, 
Okay, so Grant has Pisces, those are the fish, and Pegasus, which is a flying horse. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of pool noodle and face it down and lay your candy wrapper on it and just put glue from your glue stick on that circle, okay? Try and line that circle up the best you can in the middle of that wrapper. Now the reason it's on the pool noodle is because we have this pin and we're gonna poke some holes. And having something soft like a sponge or a pool noodle behind your paper helps you save your fingers from getting poked too many times. I'm going down, I'm lining my pin up as much as I can in the middle of that hole and I'm kind of wiggling it just a little bit to make sure that hole is nice and poked. Then I'm gonna go back through and poke them all one more time. Go ahead and repeat that process for all the constellations that you want to look through in your flashlight. So I have Canis Major right here, otherwise known as the Big Dog, and he was supposedly Orion's hunting dog. So Orion being the great hunter, Canis Major being Orion's hunting dog, and if you find him in the night sky, he is always chasing a rabbit called Lepus. Do we have Lepus? Nope. There are a lot more constellations than what I gave you. There are so many constellations. These are just some more popular ones that have really fun stories attached to them. Now, we researched and researched and researched the best flashlight to use for this project. We got that, like 10 flashlight <laughs> types of flashlights out of Yeah, we had so many types of flashlights. This is the one that worked the best. But if you lose this flashlight or it breaks, you can also use the other flashlight I found that works. It's actually just the flashlight from your smartphone. That also works, but you have to be a little more careful with it than this flashlight. Yeah. Okay, so what we do, is we line it up with the top of our flashlight and put the rubber band over it. It's not working. This rubber band part can be pretty tricky. You want to put the rubber band, whoop! The rubber band likes to pop off. You want to put the rubber band on the top, right there. Not too close to the top or it'll pop off and not too close to the bottom or it'll slide off that way. So let me show you one more time on my other constellation how to get that rubber band on your flashlight. You're going to line the constellation up with the center of your flashlight and see I'm going to wrap my fingers around like a circle around the top of the flashlight. That gets my candy wrapper nice and centered and nice and stable. Now I'm going to take my fingers, my three fingers, and stretch them out and wrap them around my flashlight, like this. See how I'm still holding on to that candy wrapper the whole time that I'm trying to get the rubber band on? Very good, Grant's got it. So we can't see stars in the light, can we? Nope. So we need to go into like a dark room or a closet somewhere that doesn't have a window or light and shine our constellation in there so that we can see it on the wall. Ready? Yep. Okay, let's do it. Cool. Okay, that was so much fun, Grant. I love seeing your Pegasus and your Pisces, the fish that are tied together. Pisces. What a fun project to find out more about constellations. And remember, if you want to learn more, you have to download those worksheets so you can read more about these constellations. Also, remember this, this paper, you get to make your own constellation. So if you go out in the night sky and look for some stars, find a pattern, try and tell a story just like they did in the old days when they made up these constellations. So I can't wait to see what you guys come up with. If you are doing this project, please take a picture or a video and have a grown up tag us on social media. We're at the Winkle Crate and that way we can see what you did, how you liked it, 
and we can see what your constellation story is. Thanks for joining us. Bye. 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 Bye.